I know nothing about this game except Minato that it looks pretty. Jinba, Minato -kun. It's in Japan. Yeah, it looks gorgeous, set in Japan. It looked very atmospheric from the screenshot, so I was like, you know what, I'll just wishlist it, see what the reviews are like when it comes out. Reviews are really good, so... すまないな。しかし給与をすることだ。ああ。一体何事なんだよ。キムさんがお前のお母さんが倒れたと診療所から連絡があった。あの。私も仕事で知らせを受けるのが遅れてしまったんだ。詳しい容体はわからない。明日
I love it. Ooh, should we go snoop? Kind of want to. Hello. Oh, 10 yen coin. Oh, don't tell me it's manual saves. In the inventory section of the menu screen, view items and meters of and HP. Certain items like Seimei Gun, which replenishes stamina and HP, can be used directly from the inventory. Seimei Gun? What's that? Is this Seimei Gun? Old key. Front door to her house. Needed to play the 10 yen game. There might be way more to this game than I thought seeing the inventory like that. I thought we turned off head bob. <laughs> Post. Wow, look at that game. Oh, this is where you play the game. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> It goes, like, not far enough, and then it just fucking shoots into outer space. Okay. Ooh! Okay, so just past that wood. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Wait, how do I get it? Oh, I see. I need to shoot it to the middle. Oh! <gasps> Oh, fucking pro gamer over here. Atari! Winning ticket. So why did I play that game? <laughs> what are we doing? Wow. It's giving me siren vibes. Can we go up this? Hmm. I need to turn down the sensitivity a little bit. It's making me... Oh, head bob. Nice. Damazettai Huntai. Damn the dam. Don't destroy our towns. They were against building of a dam. Furusato Kawasana. Don't destroy our town. This area, including Ichi Nose Village, is planned to be a dam construction site. Again, this is kind of. <sighs> I'm a little like the hospital bit was seemed like Fatal Frame 3 and now the damn thing seems like Fatal Frame 2. <laughs> Who is this handsome fella? Nezumi Kaisi? Return of the Mouse? I don't know if that's what it means. Maybe it's a famous play or something? Which way should we go? We might have to go left? Ah. Okay. Makata. <sighs> Looking for some coins. Got any of those 10 yen coins? Hell yeah. I don't even know what the thing was for. What is it? Oh, crows. Oh, that's so nice looking. Oh, I got four. Oh, that's like stealing from the dead though. E <gasps> Who the fuck is that? Where are you going? <laughs> Bingo? Do you think she lives here? Miyama. Oh, so pretty. Oh. I can hear the cicadas already. Wow. 
What? Why is it telling me to pause? Oh, it's checkpoints. Nice. Dude, this is so nice. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Chilling on your chair like that, just looking out the window. What a gorgeous house. This is all gonna get destroyed because of the dam. Locked? Okay. Time to go in. Dear Kinumiyama, I have recently been approached by Town Hall. They have requested that I, as the mayor, intervene and persuade you to comply with the eviction notice issued for the dam construction. I understand how truly heartbreaking it must be to have to leave the land that your ancestors had protected for generations. However, it must be acknowledged that both I and the villagers have very reluctantly accepted this project out of necessity. Considering the prosperity of the Miyama family's silkworm business, I am conf confident that your silkworms will continue to prosper in any new location. Perhaps it is time for you to contemplate a fresh start as well. Between us, rumor has it that whenever substantial amounts of money are involved, ill intentions come with it. It would be wise for you to make your decisions quickly, the mayor. Hmm. Ah, uh, nice. Dude, your voice. It's like butter. Uh huh. Entrance key. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dream house. You taking off your shoes? Dude. I guess I don't have feet. Oh. Light switch. No need to switch it on. Really? Oh, I see. Oh, so nice. That is so nice. What is this? Oh. お父さんから聞いた話では、宮間家は成り合いにしていた三修行を随分前に辞めてしまったらしい。その名残か、金野さんはここで解雇を買っていて、子供の俺に解雇の話をした。解雇は素晴らしい。金野さんと話したのは
No, so many chickens. Poker and dead chickens are scattered about. Is she killing them? Hey, there's another one. We should do it. What's this one? Do it again. Let's get, for, get a home run. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what I'd use those for, but... I'm winning! Can I get the egg? Crouch. Egg. Eat to permanently raise defense slightly. It's still warm. Ooh. Are you gonna eat it raw? It's fucking raw! Okay. This is so nice. This must be so nice during springtime. You can just like open your doors, sit on your porch, have a cup of green tea. <sighs> we, um, when we were in LA, Sean and I went to Yakiniku place, like a barbecue, Japanese barbecue place. And, um, it was, it wasn't run by Japanese people, but it was definitely authentic. It tasted exactly like it did in Japan. And I even ordered like an iced oolong, cha, oolong tea. Um, and I was definitely like, oh, this takes me back. Burn dead chickens at 4 p.m. That's the first thing I saw. Gardening, dinner, dinner. Dinner at 6 and at 9. I wouldn't complain. Look for dresser key lost in baths. Okay. Plural? Baths? Dude, your grandma was fucking loaded. No, I don't want to yet. No, 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 no. I need to explore the house. Oh. I wonder if this is just an actual weather report. Yure! <laughs> UFO! It's <laughs> eating! <laughs> oh, <Karen to. laughs> Why was there a lizard? Oh, God, it's Why was there a lizard? Don't you dare hit him. <laughs> Kanto is Tokyo Chiba. Oh, okay. I don't remember. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Tell me the story, please. Yes. Hanako chan, uh oh. Don't go to the bathroom, Hanako chan. That's never a good idea. その日の夕方、花子ちゃんに電話がかかってきて、花子ちゃんが電話に出ると。
she coming closer every time? <sighs> oh, I thought that was here! That's creepy. Oh, what That was awesome. The end. Okay. We saw everything. Cool. Oh. Uh, Kokeshi doll, right? Is what they're called. I think. Man, what a oh, dude, that looks like a person's shadow. That's creepy. Honestly, I would be pretty freaked out. Like the house is gorgeous, but being in a big house like this that has a history. All by yourself? No, thank you. Dear Minato, maybe a sleepover with like 10 people? I'll do that. Thank you for the letter. I was so surprised to see you wrote it all by yourself. You did a great job. Grandpa appreciates it. Your mom won't buy you a bug collection kit, eh? You know, when I was young, I used to collect butterflies too. But someone once told me to not hurt, not to hurt them. That's when I decided to stop catching butterflies. Instead, I decided to just watch them as they live and allow them to stay a part of the beauty of nature. I can't buy you a bug collection kit, but how about this? When summer comes, I'll take you to a place where there are plenty of butterflies and dragonflies. Grandma's busy with housework, so she can't come along, but let's have lots of fun together, just you and Grandpa. Whenever we have to say goodbye, it always makes me feel a little sad. But before you go, I'll give you a good pat on the head and whisper a little magical spell to keep you happy until the next time we meet. I'll miss you, but I have to help Grandma some with some things. So please be good and do as you're told. I promise I'll come see you in summer. Grandpa. What am I hearing? Mm. I thought I heard something rumbling. Like something... Like a little cup or something. Jesus! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Scare me! Okay, I guess that's a hiding place. Good to know then. Sure. Christ. Uh, Oteyarai bathroom. Do you think there could be... Oh, same a gun. Grandma's painkillers. Restore HP and stamina. Okay, cool. Gross. There's been a granny butt on, no, not on that one, actually. Or maybe, I can't imagine a grandma at her age still squatting, though. But who knows? Maybe. Japanese people are very flexible. What is this hallway? What is this? A dial lock. Aww. Nani, nani. Okay, four digits. Hiding place room. Gotta remember that. Have I been this way? Dude, this place is like a ryokan. A safe point? Kasangamite.
Dude, I'm getting so many coins. Makes me wonder if I actually should be playing those games a lot more than I am. Bathroom. Key. There might be a key here somewhere that she lost. Oh, oh. There's something in the drain. There's a key in there. How are we gonna get it out though? Magnet? Maybe a magnet? If it's Silent Hill, hook and a thread? You could maybe use a coat hanger like that. Hmm. I didn't actually pick up anything that could be useful for that. Dudes, this house is so big. Altar. Should I light incense now that I'm here? Sure. Respect the dead. Are you gonna... さいちじいちゃんは井戸に落ちて死んだ。物知りで優しい。いいじいちゃんだった。絹さんはじいちゃんが俺たち家族と親しいことを知っていたのに亡くなったことを娘の母さんにさえ知らせなかった。うん。じ
Oh, do you think we can hide here too? Like this? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Uh huh. Okay, this loops around. Oh, this is so nice. Ooh, flashlight. There's a flashlight. Gotta remember it for later. Can you imagine living in a place like this? Ugh. Okay, I think... I think I've seen all of the house. Where's the telephone table? If you were a phone... Oh, there. Hmm, screws have gone rusty. The door won't open. Wait, do I have to call an actual number? Or do you think this is a code to open the thing underneath? Could it be like 323? Or is it something else? Should we take a rest in? Saichi-ji-chan no iye da. Anna jiko sae na kereba. Ima mo genki ni shite ita kamo na. Ji-chan ga ikite sae ite kure tara. Kaa-san mo shinazu ni sunda kamo shire nai no ni. Hmm. So we have... Oh yeah, wait. What was written here again? Oh, the key. Yeah. Dresser key. Okay. Let's see what happens. Dude, I'm getting major Fatal Frame vibes. I hope they're fans. And Kuon, actually. お蚕様はね、それは大事に大事に育てる。温かい部屋でお腹いっぱい食わぬ葉を食べさせてあげるのよ。そうして綺麗な眉を作ったら、茹でて殺していいとは取るのか。かわいそうだと思うのかい。い
Ah, that's better. Oh, I didn't see this. Dear Dad, how are you doing? The other day, my husband Eiji and I attended Minato's entrance ceremony. Under the warm spring sunshine, watching him walk with that big backpack, I couldn't help but feel proud of our son. Eiji was teasing Minato, saying he looks like a giant backpack with legs, to which I couldn't help but smile too. He always makes us laugh with his jokes. As for me, I'm still the same as always. I feel a little better after drinking water. I still can't bring myself to tell Eiji about my situation, and it tugs at my heart. I wonder how long I can keep this secret. I've spent many sleepless nights worrying, afraid of what'll happen if he finds out. How's mom doing, by the way? There are times when Minato begs me to see his grandma, and I struggle to find the right words to say, I don't think she'll be very happy if we come to see her. Why does mom dislike me so much? It breaks my heart to think that the rest of my family is being shunned because of me. If only I had the courage to confront mom. I'm sorry for constantly venting to you. I know I shouldn't worry you, but I'm a coward who quickly relies on her father. Whenever I hear your voice or read your letters, it gives me peace of mind. I'll write again soon. Please take care of yourself and stay safe. Yui Jinba. I wonder what was happening to mom. Hmm. Should we maybe save again? God, what is that sound from? It reminds me of some game. Wait, is this on? Okay. Oh! Did someone throw a chicken head against the door? もしもし。港。私だ。なんだ。父さんか。今どこ何時頃こっちに着く。ああ、そのことなんだが、今夜は帰れそうもない。今店員先の病院からかけているんだが、どうにも厄介なことになってきた。先ほどまで警察と話を
dude, this is like your cue to scram. I guess that's what's been happening to the chickens. Turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> go, 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 go! Lock the door! Can you even lock that door? <laughs> Jesus! Hiding place, hiding place. The light? Minato cannot defend himself. It's crucial to avoid detection at all costs. Running is faster than walking. Though be wary that it consumes stamina and some difficulties. If you run out of stamina, you'll be un unable to run for a period of time. While crouching, Minato gets into a lower position, reducing the sound of footsteps while moving, making it harder for enemies to hear him. If an enemy finds Minato, run and hide. You can enter some places, such as closets, to hide from enemies. A special icon will indicate objects you can hide in. Mm -hmm. Use lean and look back to check your surroundings. Oh god. Oh dear lord. Okay, I need to get to a closet. Dude. Oh. Where was the light? I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Do you think she came in? I don't see her, but I hear her. I shouldn't have left all the doors open. I'm so fucked. Can we use the phone? Oh. That wasn't me. I didn't turn on the light. Uh, okay. One, one. Zero? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Jesus! Where'd you come from? 
She's like a half silkworm lady. Oh, Jesus. I forget where the closets are. What am I gonna do? She ran. Did you hear that? I think she ran out. <laughs> so what am I doing? Dude, we have a big problem. Do you want to call for help again? Because it seems like she ran off. Front door's open. Do you want to lock it? If only we could. Oh, she knocked over the phone. This is an important number. Don't forget it. Which number? A number was written here, but it's been ripped out. There are faint marks on the paper. Use grandma's key. Um, why was it on that? We need like some charcoal or something or a pencil. Ash from incense could work. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but I can't interact with it anymore. That would have been cool. Let's save again anyway, because I got through that whole encounter without getting hurt, so that's amazing. Okay, thank you. I also didn't find anything... No. For this key in this tub. The fuck was that sound? There's a cabinet next to the incense. There was. We've looked in that. Oh, she's back! Shit. Yeah, it's empty though. Um. Okay. So. We need, like, a pencil. We've seen a couple desks. I feel like I've been thorough. I think... She went outside again. But wait, if we want to go out, then that's bad. Also, who doesn't have a pen by their phone? This is the 80s. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Is it locked? <sighs> Hide in a corner until morning. Just sleep here. She'll never find us. Maybe we should wait for her to go back into the house? And then go to the back? Climb over? Yeah, I know! I would definitely be motivated enough. <laughs>
Dude, I do not like this. Maybe she comes in through the back door? If she is down here, I am so fucked. work don't turn around to close the door just leave it oh she didn't see me If only we could open these back doors. <gasps> the fact that she's patrolling outside makes me think that, yeah, we need something in there. But shouldn't we be able to use the chicken head then? Now the question is, is she going to come in through the back door or the front door? That sounds way too close. Oh, this is the bathroom, isn't it? Oh, I went the wrong way. I forget how to go to the kitchen. YOLO! <sighs> okay, is it something with this? Hide in the chicken coop. Oh, she's literally there! How the turns have tabled. Can play a little game? <gasps> what do I do with that? Ashes and cinders. Okay, we got something. Okay, if she's still in that corner of the house... I'll go around to the front door. The key stuck in the drain. Oh, smart. The bathroom. Okay. <gasps> She's right here. Go, 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 go! I guess I'll take the other entrance. Dude, I heard her running off. Where'd she run to? That was so loud. She might be outside again. I should save. Okay. Hey. 
Hell yeah! Now where is this? What is this for? Dresser key. What dresser? She's outside. Do we know what dresser? I'm so serious right now. <laughs> This is life or death! Okay, where is it? A dresser key. Okay. Can we blind her with the flashlight? No, it just makes us more easy to detect. So you can only really use it when you know she's not close by. Eat the egg. Yeah, I could. Raises defense. I was, I was keeping it because I thought it might heal me as well, but this one says restore HP, so maybe I should just eat it, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're like hiding for your life right now. <laughs> I guess things are tastier when you're <laughs> hiding. Masugiru! <laughs> Found it. It's a fucking pencil! I fucking knew it! Back to my closet. We have a game plan. Just gotta wait for her to leave this house. Unless she's just like, can you imagine? She might just be like standing in the hallway, listening, seeing if she can hear me. That would be fucking terrifying. I think she went to the back of the house again. I'm so scared. <laughs> what is it? 6340? Okay, you guys remember that for me? 6340. That must be for the back. I'm gonna save and leave this joint. Okay, this is good. If she doesn't look back, that is. I'll just keep low. Six three four oh thanks chat. Oh baby, let's go. <gasps> Moo, she's so big. Go, go, go. <laughs> Fucking scram. <laughs> Can you lock it? Move it, move it, move it. Quicker. Thank you. Put your weight against it. Oi, Aichi Mama. So what's her story, huh? Where would she come from? Yeah. <sighs> Jesus, that was so tense. 
Hey, painkillers. I didn't even get hit. <laughs> oh god, it's open. Can you close it? Thank you. Mrs. Kino. I'm writing to inform you about the results of your examination at our clinic. Based on the diagnostic images obtained from the x-ray, we've identified an abnormality in your cranial region that appears to be a brain tumor. Symptoms you have been experiencing, such as your headaches and severe forgetfulness, are likely related to this tumor. It's important to address this condition promptly. Tumor requires quick and immediate treatment. It is important to note that your memory may continue to deteriorate and the painkillers you have been taking will only provide limited relief. I strongly advise you to discuss this matter with your family and make arrangements to visit our clinic as soon as possible. Dr. Bonzel. Hmm. I wonder if it's operable at all. これは、Fireplace like that in Japan? It's unusual. Actually, this room is very western. Now that I think about it. Dear Yui, thank you for your letter. Kino and I are doing just fine. Minato has entered elementary school. How my how time flies. I feel like it feels like just yesterday he was a baby. Can't help but think maybe it's time I'm getting maybe it's because I'm getting older. I can't read anymore. More than anything, how close you are to your family warms my heart. Yui, when you're thirsty, remember what I told you. Try not to hold it. This burden is not your fault after all. You feel guilty for keeping something hidden from Eiji, but you're afraid of telling him also. Eiji is a kind man, otherwise I would never have given him my blessing. Whenever you're ready to tell him, I'm sure Eiji will accept you for who you are. What if the creature that's cap like chasing us is actually our mother? Maybe we think she died, but she actually just went back to grandma because she couldn't contain her problem anymore, whatever it is. For years you've been worried, and I'm super thirsty all the time too. You've been worried that Kino, maybe I'm just like mom. You've been worried that Kino doesn't like you. Kino didn't attend your wedding and didn't care when she became a grandmother. But she's like this with everyone, including me. She never leaves the house under any circumstance. It may be difficult for you to understand, but Kino could never be a good mother or grandmother. That's why I took you out of her house and moved us into town. I still feel guilty for giving you that feeling of emptiness from lacking a mother, despite having one. I'm not asking you to forgive Kino for her behavior, but I want you to understand that she has her own reasons. So maybe the mom was isolating because she had the same problem? I'm so happy when Eiji asked me to leave Kino, but then now she's in the hospital, so I don't know. Thanks to him, I was able to return to the Miyama house where Kino is with a clear conscience. Now you have Eiji and Minato. Oh, and then he fell down the well. There's no need for me to be by your side. I've l left Kinu alone for a long time. She's a strong woman, but as she grows older, I want to give her my support. Remember this well. Yui, you are my pride and joy. Whenever you're in trouble or feeling anxious, you can always rely on me for whatever. Saichi. I think that's it. So where are we going next? The shrine? Where we saw her hanging out in the distance? Dude, I'm telling you, this has to be inspired by Fatal Frame 2, right? Collecting butterflies, a dam coming in, a dam being built, storage house. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <coughs> What was she keeping in here? <gasps> the weird key! Oh! So this is whatever... The grandma was guarding this whole time. <laughs> Dear Kinu, I hope this letter finds you well. This is Eiji. It has been quite some time since the untimely passing of my beloved wife, Yui. Today I'm reaching out to you with a few inquiries regarding my son, who is now 13. Minato has attended starting 
I started attending middle school this year, and I wanted to share something I've noticed with you. Since the summer, he's been getting unusually thirsty and consumes a substantial amount of water. Initially, I thought it was the hot weather and didn't think much of it. Meanwhile, in this game, he said like two tiny cups of water <laughs> throughout the day. It's like, you, if anything, you haven't been drinking enough. However, as autumn passed and winter came, he was still constantly thirsty, prompting me to seek medical advice. However, the doctor found nothing wrong with him. Thinking back, I recalled that Yui also had a tendency to drink a lot of water. Before her passing, I had discussed it with her. She mentioned that this was something she inherited from her father. She assured me that there was not, no need to worry. I'm curious to know if your husband mentioned anything about this predisposition. If you have any knowledge regarding this matter, I would greatly appreciate your answer. I eagerly await your response. Eiji. I didn't know. My mouth was from my father and my father. Do you also feel a need to eat a lot of leaves, maybe? Are you hungry for them greens? Should we try it again? Oh! Oh! One more time. Wapu? Oh! That green one is a warp hole. <laughs> the pain of loss. Ah, oops. Okay, so now I get why we get so many coins. <laughs> Did it again? Oh, I give up. Stink. Oh, geez, save point. You scared me. Thank you. Wait, actually, go back to one. We did good. Finish the whole section. That's a slot one right there. That This is a slot one attempt. I don't like this. This is creepy. Should we go up the stairs first? Hi. Hello? Big chest. What is that? What are these? Hawk scroll. Hanging scroll. Woman and a hawk. Hmm, maybe we need to do a scroll puzzle? Depicting a woman on a boat. Yeah, remove that. Oh. So it's winter fall summer spring is that the character for summer uh yeah it just looks different written down once upon a time there lived a princess named princess mayu adorned with a beauty adorned with beauty untold beneath the spring moon's glow princess mayu's sister consumed by envy's woe led her to a fearsome mountain where lions roamed free leaving her stranded a perilous decree Yet to her surprise, Princess Mayu returned home, her spirit unbroken and her body whole. As the summer... Okay. So spring is lion. Okay. One second. Spring is lion. Uh, summer is hawk. As the summer moon shimmered above, Princess Mayu's sister, driven by Envy's love, guided her to a shadowy mountain steep where hawks flocked secrets to keep. But again, Prince Mayu defied her fate, returning unscathed through Destiny's Gate. With autumn's moon shining bright, the sister's patience reached its height. She said Princess Mayu adrift on a boat to a distant sea, the princess was afloat. Yet as the night embraced the land, Princess Mayu returned, defying her sister's hand. Under winter's moon, fear took hold, the sister's heart now bitter and cold. She led Princess Maya to a garden wide, digging a hole deep and dark inside. On that night, the princess did not appear. The sister worried, though her conscience clear. Within the hole which she peered through lay a cocoon with a hole and tiny white worms askew. Okay, autumn is boat. 
and then winter is garden okay how many do i have at the moment? Jesus! Stop it! Get some help! Okay, so I need to get the one from downstairs still. Oh, I don't like you. She wants to come in. Oh, the safe point sound scares me. So what is this little door here? Okay. So the door might open if we hang the scrolls in the right position. Okay. Uh, winter. Garden. Ooh, the dead body. Autumn. Boat. Summer. Hawk. Spring. Lion. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Simple but effective. Here we go. Oh, it opened. Let's just hope she can't get in here. You keep your distance, Mom. I will join you soon enough. But I must find my own time to cocoon. Ooh. This is pretty cool. Hello? Anything there? No. Dude, I'm telling you, fatal frame. I mean, traditional <laughs> Japanese horror, I guess. But for me, it's like fatal frame is my point of reference. Lord Kube, please forgive me. I have seen nothing. I have told no one. My lips shall remain sealed. I promise to serve the Miyama family forever and ever. Please let me leave this place. I too am a human being. Please do not use my flesh as a meal for that creature. Plea from the dungeon. I think we're in a... I wonder if this led to the shrine. That would make sense. Nah. There's probably something. Silkworm records. The Miyama family's livelihood through the generations revolves around safeguarding the silkworms and selling their eggs. Miyama silkworm threads possess a remarkable combination of luster and flexibility. The exceptional, beautiful, exceptionally beautiful silk produced by the Miyama silkworms earned the nickname Thread of the Heavens and enjoyed much prosperity. Legend has it that Miyama silkworms originated from silkworms found sprouting from the body of Princess Mayu. Ah, these silkworms have been cherished and revered, revered as family heirlooms. The female sil silkworm mor the female silkworm moth serves as the crest of the Miyama family. Game really wants me to save again, so let's do it. Push it. Is it like a secret ninja ninja door? The ones like in Sekiro where you put your back against it and then the whole thing. Yes, let's go. Oh, oops. <laughs> I clicked do nothing. <laughs> Proceed. I saved anyway. Cool. 
The red talisman is a protective charm used in the region from ancient times. It is made by dyeing paper with a crimson color believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbol is unknown. It is speculated that they represent the sun deity, as sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies. According to the village legend, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as it is exercised. Is that why you don't like coming close to it? So this is a safe space then. Like they can't enter this room at all. Ooh, I know. Got a date? 1930. Maybe that lady that's out and about uh, trying to capture us, maybe she's producing all the silkworms. And that's why it's Thread of the Heavens. That's actually not my mother, but... Maybe it's like a fucking 50-year-old grandma. Miyama family tree. It, ito koto setsu. Where's Ayano? Oh, Ayano is the older sister. Kinu is the younger sister. <gasps> it's Kinu's sister. Maybe. It would explain a couple things. Flint. Burn the whole place down. Ooh, a map! Miyama Mansion. We're in the Eastern Tatami Room. We came through the storage shed. This place is big. Miyama Yashiki. Koko wa Miyama ke no kyutaku ka. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Love me a good map. That's a hiding place. Cool. <laughs> Oh, she's gone. I just realized. We don't hear her breathing anymore. May 10th, 1929. I've been fortunate enough to have been accepted as the son-in-law of the Miyama family. My father and brother have always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. Young Saichi's journal. However, in the eyes of Lord Kyube, I am loyal. I'm a loyal, trustworthy man. We have exchanged vows and I eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid eyes on her, Ayano's figure has been etched in my mind. That hourglass figure, man. Her skin lightly glowing and her sleek, shiny back black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even the shadow cast by her long eyelashes on her cheeks is beautiful. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessarily, so I decided to show her my collection of butterfly samples. I hoped that the colorful butterflies would bring her joy. Ayano said, I've never seen such beautiful butterflies before, but her expression was that of melancholy. When I asked her if she disliked butterflies, she replies, I like butterflies. However, I don't like seeing them trapped and confined. I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. <laughs> But your grandpa ended up marrying Kinu, right? Toilet. Okay. Wow, that's a fancy toilet. That's less fancy. <laughs> I hope that coin isn't sticky. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, 
Jesus, Jesus, I don't know where to go. Oh my god. The safe point talisman can repel evil spirits and repel enemies who get close. However, each time the talisman repels an enemy, it consumes magic. When it's depleting the tal depleted, the talisman's color fades and loses it its effect. You can still save at the talisman. Ah. So it's gone now? <laughs> Shit. That's a third unit right there. That's a third file. Dude, I panicked. I was like, I don't remember if there's a closet I can hide in anywhere. <laughs> I was just, just run anywhere. Was there a closet here? I could have hidden in. Oh, there was. Oh, well, okay, for next time. I'll try and remember. That is so cool. This must be the inner courtyard. Oh no, that's this. Hmm. There's a well in the corner. Well, well, well. There certainly is a well. What do we need? Two locks for wooden keys. Okay, so we need two wooden thingies. Oh, there's one! Okay, so can we tie anything? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we, if we find a bucket. Closet to hide in. Dear Mom, it's been several months since Dad passed away. Not a day goes by without a box of tissues by my side. When I came to offer my condolences, I couldn't come to terms with Dad's death. I couldn't even speak with you, Mom. Why didn't you tell us right away? You didn't even invite our family to the funeral. If we hadn't reached out, you wouldn't have bothered to tell us at all. Dad was an important role model for me. I wanted to give him a final farewell. I was weak and always hid behind Dad. I was scared to talk to you, Mom. I feared you'd say I hate you. But now that Dad is gone, I can't go on like this anymore. I need to speak with you in person. There's something I must ask you. On September 21st, I will come alone without telling Eiji or Minato. I don't expect a response to this letter. I've written to you many times before and you've never replied. I've been waiting a long time now. Now, now. see you September 21st. Mm. I wonder if there was a body for them to identify or like, we don't know how sure he is that his mom is dead, right? Okay. Hobar closet. <laughs> that sounds special. Wait. That's this way. Hmm. Crowbar carved on the lock. Okay. We need a key. Stuck on the other side. Oh, okay. Do you think we're gonna go all the way around and loop back? Okay. Did 
That's locked from the other side as well. Door won't open. Hmm. Oh. Old wooden board. Ooh. You want to try the board? Nice. Trusty board indeed. Okay, where are we now? This feels very Fatal Frame. I'm so happy. <laughs> Silkworm room up ahead. 1929. I was chatting with Saichi, waiting for my sister to get ready. He gave me a pearl hairpin, saying I would match with my sister and her hairpin. I hear neither you nor Ayano ever had ever laid... I heard neither you nor Ayano had ever laid eyes on the sea, he said. I thought the two of you would appreciate something from there. Considering how close the two of you are, I would be delighted if you would wear them together. As he handed me the hairpin, my face instantly flushed. I wondered if he could hear my racing heart and if my excitement was too obvious. I had to hide my face. It was the first time a man other than my father had given me a gift. Unlike my stern father, his voice was gentle and soft. I wished to have that voice by my side forever. And then he whispered into my ear, Isn't Ayano like a butterfly? With that, the blush from my cheeks was extinguished. The pounding in my chest subsided, as if my very pulse had stopped. He tenderly caressed the other hairpin intended for my sister, reminding me of whom his heart belonged to. Indeed, my sister Ayano is like a butterfly. She loathes being carried away by the wind and drenched by the rain. Touching her delicate wings would only result in pain. Ayano is beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. For now, I'm still the only one who can be with her. I am the only one who can place my hand upon that slender white neck. I am the only one. Damn, Grandma. Do you think... Oh, it's a hiding closet. Do you think Kinu maybe did something to Ayano? Like, cursed her or something? And then married Grandpa instead? Hmm. See the room below through the gaps between the planks. Something on the desk. Okay. Oh, this is where we saw her. Eee. Don't like it. Butterfly. Is she in that room? Or is she down here? Oh, she's down here. I don't know if I should be here. Ooh. Okay, she's in this little room. There is a closet there. Closet here. That might work. But I honestly I think in my panic, I'll just run back upstairs. She spoke. Stuck in solid grease. I can't get it out. Need firewood to start a fire. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Everything is fucking locked. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I only saw her red glowing eyes. Oh god! Where do I go? Oh, I forgot. I forget everything. Just keep running. Oh shit. Ah! 
Was there a closet up here? I don't know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was just gonna pause. <laughs> I wanted to take a moment. I guess no moment for me. Shit. No, don't do it. Ah, Jesus. Oh, run! Faster! Oh god, I can't see anything. Okay. Okay. Where do I go? What do I do? Okay, I think she's further away now. So the button I actually meant to press was this. Oh, I'm in good health, though. That healing basically did it. Jesus. Okay. So I went up these stairs, came down these, and then this was locked, this was locked. So the room she was in, basically around here, I haven't checked yet. Um, I think this one I might be able to open from the other side. This will be perfect. Okay. Gotta go this way and then this way. Down here. This way. Kitten. Let's just hope it doesn't loop around actually. <laughs> Rusty won't move. Okay. Okay, I made it here. Let's just have a look around. Firewood, cool. When I visited the Miyama family, I caught a glimpse of Ayano and Kinu walking together in the front yard. Ayano had an innocent girlish smile on her face as she talked to Kinu, but as soon as she noticed me, her smile disappeared. I had a faint suspicion all along, who she has eyes for, whose side she wishes to be by, and it's not me. Oh. Hmm. So Ayano just wasn't interested in Saichi? Nice. If you're smart, you can also use that. <laughs> Could technically use that as a bucket for the well as well. Crowbar key. Oh, crowbar key. Cool. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. What should I do? I've gone and lost the key. I had it with me before I went to the toilets, but somehow I managed to lose it. If anyone finds out, I'll be doomed. Lord Kyube will show no mercy. Okay. I can hide in the box? Ooh. Oh, I can hear her. Wait. Can she be close though? Maybe she's upstairs? She sounds really close. Cool. Okay. Why is it? Ooh, it's a new game. Don't bother me. <laughs> so what do I do with this one? Starts there. Spin. Goal. What does spin do? Oh, like you spin off the road? Okay. So I need to... Get a oh, oops, just across. Uh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. It can do too much as well. Oh, this is a tricky one. How many do I have? 30? Oh, never mind then. Fuck. 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 Okay, that's too much. How about this? Too little. Okay, so what's the perfect middle then? There. There. Oh, dang it. Uh-huh. Okay. Got those. Nice. So where does it go from here? Whoa. Ah, this one is... Ah. Ah, so close. I'm looking at the markings on the back. So it's like there's this blue line right here. See that? So just above that. Then this, this like brown spot right there. This one, I don't know. YOLO. What to do, what to do. <laughs> it goes between way too much and not nearly enough. Oh, right. I forgot she's really close. Maybe I should wait for a bit. Yeah, she's really close. So she's probably come down the stairs, but everything is locked. So my guess is that she might go all the way back again. So maybe I'll just wait her out. I need to check this end here. Stuck on the other side. Oh, how do we get on the other side of this? It looks completely closed off. Oh, that's the hole in the ceiling. Okay, I did get the crowbar closet key, I think. Yeah. Okay. Shortcut. Mr. Cube, during our business negotiations, the plate that I had a look at was remarkable. At first glance, it may appear somewhat uninspiring to the eyes of a novice like myself, but I never dreamed that it would have such an intricate mechanism. Only when immersed in cold, clear water does the true beauty of the artwork reveal itself, and I am truly impressed. I hope to have the opportunity to see it again in the future. A plate? Hmm... Plate in cold, clear water. Ooh, crowbar. That's actually not a crowbar. Those are pliers. She might be coming back. I think I need to heal. I probably could. Okay. Now are we gonna just jump down? Oops. 
1929. Started being mean to Ayano. I intentionally avoid talking to her and I'm being unfriendly towards her. I love Saichi too much to not do this. No matter what I do, she never asks me why. Instead, on the verge of tears, she says, I'm sorry, Kinu, please forgive me, even though she has, not, she has nothing to apologize for. Today is an autumn dusk. My sister and I ventured into the mountains from the path to the shrine to admire the colorful autumn foliage. I held my sister's hand tightly. She smiled with joy and squeezed my hand in return. She didn't hold my recent behavior against me. She's always been kind to me. Ever since we were children, we would sneak out during autumn. Together, we would watch the leaves turn crimson and, the s crimson and the sunset paint the sky. As the chilly winds of late autumn blew, I could feel the warmth of our joint hands. But this will probably be the last time. Next spring, my sister will marry Saichi. Still? Well, I will be married off to someone else. Kino, the maple trees are beautiful. Let's do this again next year. My sister says this with innocent eyes. She torments me, unaware of the turmoil in my heart. A sister who has always been with me is slipping away. I couldn't put it into words, the horrific things I felt. Finally, I unleashed my frustration and revealed everything to her. I will never go again. Why don't you go with Saichi instead? You don't need me anymore after all. I said those words, first forcefully releasing her hand and walked away. I turned my back on her and kept walking, not wanting her to see the tears streaming down my face. From behind me, a faint voice whispered, Don't leave me. Pretending not to hear, I continued to walk down the mountain alone. At that moment, I wondered if my sister Ayano was also shedding tears. Bioniki. I wonder what happened in the end. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Go, 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 that is so fucking scary. Oh, this is not gonna work. Or is it? <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> what key did I get? Peony? Is it upstairs? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It doesn't say which ones these are. Don't turn around. Let me go. Maybe I just haven't found a door yet that fits this thing. I also haven't checked this other servant room properly because she jumped me. Shit. YOLO! Oh god, I don't know where I am. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. I made it. I'm in the counting... No, I'm in the messenger room. Technically, we're trespassing. This is her house. Oh, she has every right to be angry at us. someone tell her we are trying to leave yeah <laughs> yeah why does she even want us what does she want with us on that day i left my sister ayano behind and descended the mountain alone i was certain she would follow me i anticipated a tearful apology as she had done countless times before but she never returned why did I let go of her hand? If only we had gone down the mountain together, hand in hand, Ayano would still be by my side. I lost her due to my shallow jealousy. I cried and lived in sorrow for days, and now I've run out of tears. I heard someone calling my name on a snowy night, so I looked outside. To my surprise, Ayano was standing in front of the gate. She had been wandering the mountain for a month, yet her kimono, sandals, and hair remained pristine and spotless. However, she had lost her ability to speak. I embraced her tightly, clutching her hand as tears streamed down my face. Ayano's hand was warm. The warmth I at once let slip away. I will never let it go again. So did she just change? She changed during her month on the mountain, maybe? Oh, Tenyan.
Now where did she go? I haven't been on this orchard yet. Maybe she's gonna pass by now. That sound means that she's coming. I feel so exposed in the courtyard though. we got a whole lot of nothing got it where am I oh this is the old entrance a sh spade used for digging do you think we need to dig something up in the courtyard you're not even gonna try it's a door front door Okay, what's next? Altar room. Lord Kyube ordered me to hide the mulberry chest crest displayed on the altar, buried near the shrine, and the blue one is buried near the stone lantern in the courtyard. Okay. Red near the shrine, blue near the stone lantern. Okay. When I reported to Lord Kyube after hiding them, he bowed his head and thanked me. It looked as if a big burden had been lifted. He had a calm expression when I, which I had not seen in a long time. After Lady Ayano's passing, Lord Kyube would look constantly agitated. He hardly slept, always drowned himself in books, and always appeared to be reading until his eyes went bloodshot. That serene yet sorrowful expression left me with a sense of unease. Since then, Lord Kyube has vanished without a trace. Whoa! Fail frame too, I'm telling you. Okay, cool. I'll go look for those. Oh, that sucks. This is a dead end, isn't it? Yep. Just gotta check this corner. Oh, there was a chest here. Good to know. So if we accidentally run into the dead end, we can run here. Close these. So she can't see me hiding in it. <laughs> okay. So we checked here. The courtyard. So there should be a lantern in the courtyard that we need to dig at. I don't think she's gonna come in here again. I might be fucked if she does, depending on her AI. <laughs> These are all locked doors, like this corner we haven't been to yet, so she has to be stuck here somewhere. Unless she went all the way to the library. Is that a bucket? <gasps> Here's a bucket. Run! Ah, go faster! Don't open it! Don't open it! No! Hi. I tried. Ah! Hold on. Thanks. I 
I don't know where to hide. I don't know where to hide. Oh, please. Please just let me have this. No! It takes too long to get into the chests. I know of a closet. I know just the thing. <laughs> that should be okay. Oh, my shoulder's cracking. Oh, I popped both my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> I hate cracking my elbows. That's so nasty. Says the person who fucking snaps her neck eight times. <sighs> I should save. There are checkpoints though. But yeah, I should definitely save somewhere. I don't really know... Where they are. They're not on the map, right? Oh, this closet. Wasn't that closet one? Shouldn't run. Oh, fuck! She was right there! I decided to just stomp the ground right in front of her. Damn it. How'd she get here so quickly? So I went down here. Oh, and she just went down there. Damn it. She kind of looks like um, the monster from Wreck. <laughs> the Spanish movie. Oh. <laughs> My elbows. What are the chances of her turning around, right? Darkness. Dude, I can't see a thing. But I can't hear her either, so... Where did this go? Dude, I don't trust it. I do have a flashlight, but... She might see it. like standing in this room. <laughs> that would suck. Okay, I saved. Um, oh, that's not my inventory. This is. I need to dig and I have a thing for the other courtyard. And that's one of the keys. That's good. Or actually it might not be. It might just be a key for a door. Could go do that since she's the other way. Get some distance. Wait, where is she? Maybe because I was running with the flashlight out. I feel like she might not come all this way, so I'm just gonna take a chance. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. What is it? I think it says left. Yeah. Left silkworm. Does that go in here? Ah, so it is for here. Okay, cool. Okay, so... <sighs> what was it again? One was buried by the shrine and one was buried by the lantern. Oh, the shrine is... We're, we're by the shrine. The shrine is here. Do we dig here somewhere? It says this is the shrine. Just out of reach. Wasn't it buried? Shrine. 
She's coming back. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Shit! Okay, go here. Uh, courtyard? Uh, not this way. Oh, I'm fucked. Hide in the corner. Oh, shit! Jesus. Oh, how did I get out of that? I closed the door hoping it would help, but no, she's right behind me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I tried. I forget where the closets are. Then <laughs> she wastes no time. <laughs> Baby's at the door, I think. Big <laughs> purrs. We're escaping a scary lady. Yeah. No, he's such a good little gentleman. He always wants to cuddle after dinner. <laughs> Just fucking go. I waste no time. Now I have quite some distance. <coughs> Here we go. Well, there's one of them. Now we need to check out the rest here. We haven't even been in here anywhere. Dude, it's like, I'm fucking rich, man. Got like 30 bucks. Okay. Box, good. I received news of Ayano's return, yet I haven't been able to meet her since the first, since she first went missing. Despite my repeated requests to visit her, Lord Kyube only responds with Ayano is unwell. In the midst of my dark and gloomy days, I was suddenly summoned to the Miyama residence. Lord Kyube stared me down with a grim expression. Ayano is afflicted with a severe illness. If you want to see her, you must marry Kinu and become part of the Miyama family. If you change your mind after, you will not survive. As long as I can be with Ayano, I don't care what happens to me. Without hesitation, I accepted his request. Maybe that's why Kinu is so bitter, because she knows that Saichi didn't really choose her. Ayano is in the depths of a dark cave, trapped in a dungeon. She was almost unrecognizable. The woman I had fallen for was no longer there. To be honest, she seemed no longer human. More terrifying than Ayano, Ayano's appearance was Kinu. How could Kinu be fine with all of this? Inside the cell, Kinu sat by Ayano, smiling blissfully. A chilling sensation ran down my spine. Cool, so Ayano came back, completely changed. Oh, this is the plate. That needs to be in the water. But Kinu felt so guilty about what she did to her that she isn't seeing Ayano for what became of her. I think this leads back. Yeah, let's check here first. Shouldn't have done that. Now she can come through. Oh, nice. What is that? Oil. Ooh. Oh, what was rusted again? Oh god. I feel like it's been forever. That was an important key in the bathroom, though. Oi, oi. Nakushita kagi ってまさかこの中がどうする You have to do it. Hi, baby. <laughs> 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 
The kitchen oh. pump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was there nothing in it? Oh, there is. Counting rods key. Nice. Totally worth it. Cool. Okay, let's save that. Shit. I don't know where she is. Counting rod closet. It's across the courtyard. Okay. Honestly, with all these doors open, it should become easier to avoid her. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, he's tootin'. Baby's tootin'. He's a stinker. Don't do it, beep. She'll smell your toots. Oh, baby, you're so stinky. Did I miss this one? Yeah. It feels like ages ago when we all celebrated Ayano's safe return. Shimamura, my friend and doctor, went above and beyond to help her. Ayano has been gradually losing her sanity and her appearance was deforming. Watching my daughter mutate before my eyes, I was on the brink of losing my own sanity. How many times did I ask the heavens for her recovery? No matter how many times I called Ayano's name, she looked at me with her blood-red eyes. She tilts her head in confusion. She no longer recognizes me. Ayano has transformed into a monster. Amidst my fervent search for a cure, I stumbled upon an ancient document left by our ancestors containing the term Princess Possession. According to it, Princess Possession, or PP, <laughs> is a condition that transforms women into monsters. PP tends to do that. And if we use a certain cocoon to treat Princess Possession, we can reverse the transformation, restoring her to her original form as a woman. Oh. With this cocoon, I'm confident that I can cure Ayano. Hmm. There's a cure for her? Or did it just make her into... Whoa. What is this? Damn. Special door. Hell no. <laughs> In the nick of time. Are you going to walk all the way down? Time to go. Okay, kitchen pump. Oh yeah, because we need clear water. I wonder what that's going to do. Oh, that's the thing from the library. Okay. Pattern appeared on the plate. Vibrantly painted plate with excellent craftsmanship. Green on top, blue on right, red on the bottom, black on the left. That was that. We still need the other crests, though. Oh, I have the key. This one. Whew. It's been nearly 20 years since I left here with baby Yui in my arms. Yui's gotten married and I've returned to the Miyama family. I announced my return and they neither rejected nor welcomed me. Kinu responded with a simple, I see. Surely Kinu must have resented me, even if I had abandoned her for Yui's sake. Oh, Saichi, 
I grappled with the guilt even while living in town. I never forgot them, the sisters. I had resolved to return one day. And even at this moment, I'm still thinking of Ayano. Shimamura committed suicide and I left the village, leaving no one in the Miyama family. Kino has been Ayano's sole caretaker. Ah. She looks after Ayano every day. Although I have returned to the household, I cannot approach Ayano, let alone touch her. I can only observe them from outside the cell. Even in her state, Ayano is always thinking about Kinu. That is my biggest regret. Do I still envy Kinu even now? In my youth, I gazed upon Ayano and yearned for to caress her fair skin and her silky hair. Yet in the end, I couldn't even touch her fingertips. Even so, I simply cannot give up. My desire to see Ayano again consumes me. Yui bears a striking resemblance to Ayano. However, she's not the same. In the journal of my father-in-law, Kyubei, which was discovered within the mansion, he talks about a cocoon. Had he found a way to bring her back? If the words written here tell the truth, then I will reclaim Ayano by any means necessary. Damn. Oh! Little steppy letter! Yeah! That's what we needed. Is that it? Okay. I hope that she's still on the left there somewhere. But she could be anywhere now, because everything's open. <sighs> like that. Let's hope she didn't hear me. I'm gonna use my steppy ladder. Okay, now we have both. Okay, so... Altar room? I think it was? Is it here? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, turn left, turn right, and we need green up top, blue on the right. Where's the black one? Oh, it's in the- down there. Okay, so... We need to bring this one up. This one down. So... Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, green, blue, red, black. Yeah, that's it, I think. So... If I do this here... That there... I just need to... Uh, turn this one. That should be it. Okay. What is that? Library key. Did I read this? Uh, no, I don't think so. When I came home from work, I found Yui crying in the living room. I immediately went to check on her. I noticed her face and uniform was stained with blood. In her trembling hands, was a lifeless canary. It was the can canary I had gifted her on her 13th birthday. When I asked her why this was, she said she was thirsty, so thirsty she couldn't bear it, so she drank the canary's blood. I had hoped for her to have a normal childhood, but deep down I knew this day would come. I was horrified, but knew that Yui's heart would shatter if I did nothing. When I first held baby Yui in my arms, I made a vow to do anything for this child. Much like her mother, she is my pride and joy. I told the weeping Yui that her, she inherited her bloodlust from me. I feigned silence to let it sink in. By shouldering the blame for Yui's bloodlust, I hoped to keep her grounded to the world. I offered my apologies through tears. Yui in turn urged me not to cry. After that, I began going to the butchers to purchase blood. Yui and I would drink it together. Oh. Damn. Okay, so library key. Oh, it's right around the corner. Mmm. Damn. 
Okay. Oh, tree. Bamboo. Cool. Okay, we can hide here. That's good. <gasps> the other key! Oh, we did it. Saichi, agitated, told me he had discovered a way to cure my sister. What was this man thinking? He had once recoiled at the sight of my sister. He abandoned us and fled to, to town with Yui. I've never found Ayano to be ugly. No matter how many years pass, she remains as enchanting as ever. I've kept her hair long and sleek and her lips red. I was always jealous of her beauty and still am. Ayano is as beautiful as ever. Saichi is trying to separate us. Such a thing must not come to pass. I cannot bear it. I will not allow Saichi to take Ayano away from me. I threw my pearl hairpin into the well. I've tried to discard that thing many times, yet I could never bring myself to do it. I asked Saichi to retrieve it. Ah, oh, he chuckled and assured me, don't worry, I'll get it for you. Kinu, no! I embraced Saichi from behind as he peered into the well to retrieve it. I drew him closer into my soft embrace. What's the matter, Kinu? I heard his gentle voice. It's nothing, I replied. Then with all my strength, I pushed him straight into the well. That was the first and last time I touched Saichi. Jesus! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh my god! I'm so sorry, I don't know! Kinu sucks! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Get out of here! Oh my god, it's not over yet. <laughs> There's more. Well, Bibi's been fed now anyway, so we can keep going. She's not coming through? Jeez. Oh, jeez. So intense, huh? Oh, hiding place. Oh, what's that? That looked like a little poopy, poopy symbol. Hmm. Wait, I think I need to get back though, because I don't think I had a butterfly key at all. Thank you. Okay. Getting new stuff, that's good. What's that? Old picture. Ooh! Uh, 1933. Ayano? I was awakened in the middle of the night by someone pounding on my door. I went out to see... Oh, the doctor. To see a panicked servant from Miyama family. Miss Ayano, who had been missing since she ventured into the mountains, had returned. I couldn't believe my ears. Despite my disbelief, I trudged through the snow and arrived at the Miyama mansion, my medical supplies in hand. Miss Ayano was leaning against her sister, Miss Kinu. They were seated on a tatami mat. Miss Ayano was just sitting there, staring blankly. I was concerned about her mental and physical state, but upon inspecting her, there wasn't a scratch on her. It was difficult to fathom how she had spent a month in the cold, frigid mountain mountains unharmed. Then a rather unsettling sensation washed over me. A month passed since Miss Ayano's return. She still doesn't speak and spends all her day in her room, staring into space. Whenever someone tries to talk, she only glances at them. However, when Miss Kinu is by her side, she seems to be happy. She leans against her with a smile. They're two sisters who lost their mother as a child. They must be like two halves of a whole. Lord Kyube mentioned she's a timid girl. I'm not surprised she does not want to speak after that. But there seems to be something amiss. She drinks water like she's about to die of dehydration. She hasn't eaten nor slept since her return. Furthermore, she doesn't even need to go to the bathroom. The cherry blossoms are in full bloom, yet Miss Ayano remains sheltered in her dark room. When did she last touch sunlight? Yesterday, Lord Kyube opened the door to her room, intending to show Miss Ayano the cherry blossoms. However, as soon as sunlight poured in, something terrifying happened. Miss Ayano let out a piercing scream and crumpled to the floor. It sent shivers down my spine. Hmm. Her skin appeared inflamed as she had suffered a severe sunburn. 
Beneath the damaged skin, I could see her raw, reddened flesh. Okay, so we have to basically survive until dawn then. Miss Ayano keeps losing weight, but is somehow growing taller. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that her limbs are becoming elongated. She used to be petite, but now she's taller than I am. Furthermore, no matter what injuries she sustains, they miraculously heal within a matter of days. Her burns from the other day have completely healed, not a single scar remaining. Yet there is something even more chilling than this transformation. There are moments when Miss Aino stares at me. Her sunken, hollow eyes glare at me as if she were a predator, and I was her prey. My worst fears have come true. Lord Kyube has secluded Miss Aino. She is in total isolation. Miss Kino is burdened with the sole responsibility of caring for her. And then, tragedy struck. Miss Aino bit, a fa bit and fatally wounded one of the servants. She ate her. That night I told Lord Kube that there was nothing I could do. He pleaded with me, please do not abandon Ayano. I couldn't stand seeing the anguish in the eyes of my dear friend. I felt as if my heart would tear in two. I found myself forging Miss Ayano's death certificate. The doctor, a doctor should never do this, but for the sake of my friend I had to. To conceal the murder, we used the body of a servant as a decoy. This is how we faked Miss Ayano's death. It was the only way to protect her from the public. Lord Kyube and I decided to confine her to the dungeon connected via the hidden passage. This is the fourth spring since Miss Aino's return. She remains imprisoned within those walls. She survives by consuming the blood of chickens, cows, and sometimes even humans. Her once beautiful figure is no more. She is a mere shadow of her former self. Her nose has receded and her left eye is punctured. In its place, multiple insect-like eyes have emerged. Upon her black, pale back, a pattern resembling the markings found on a silkworm have taken form. Nowadays, unless accompanied by Miss Kinu, I dare not approach her. Should I venture in alone, she would undoubtedly tear me apart. Miss Kinu told me, sometimes my sister experiences stomach cramps. I conducted an examination and noticed movement within her abdomen. Ever since Miss Ayano's return, I had noticed a gradual swelling of her abdomen. Initially, I attributed it to ascites? Ascites? caused by malnutrition but to my shock it appears that she is pregnant if she is indeed pregnant she has been so for six years nine years have passed since that fateful day how much longer can i maintain my sanity my dear friend kyube has vanished without a trace tonight aided by miss kinu we will extract the child from miss ayano's stomach her body has undergone undergone oh. my mom is her baby her body has undergone too many transformations over the past nine years. She is incapable of giving birth. We have no alternative but to surgically open her abdomen and remove the child, a cesarean section. My body trembles in fear. I wonder if the child will bear any semblance of a human. The truth is, it will not be born of a human. So, Ayano is our grandmother, I think. Because Yui is then our mother, right? And then she had the thirst as well, and I have the thirst. And Kinu didn't want to talk to Yui at all. I was I was thinking it was weird because um, Kinu said something like, Saichi never touched me. Like, that's the first and last time I'll ever touch you. So even though they married, they actually were never intimate. So they never had a child. Oh... Plot thickens. Grandma! <laughs> okay, there's a courtyard on our left. I don't think I checked out the tatami room. But this must be their childhood place. Oh, okay. Oh, I forget that he speaks sometimes and then it's been a while and he suddenly says something. I'm like, oh, hello. Father gave us a trick box. He said it's a rare toy. He told us that it was a box that would only open when turned in a specific order. Ayano was worried about forgetting the sequence, so we created a secret story together to remember it. Once upon a time, there lived a nice old man. He found a mysterious boat in the mountains. Inside the boat, there was a princess. The old man cared for the princess, but she caught a disease and passed away. Princess's body turned into a pure white silkworm. Silkworm continued to spin its thread until it became a large cocoon. Okay, man, boat, princess. Sick, worm, cocoon. 
Fan boat princess. Sick. Kagami ga miyataranai na. Is that a save? Ooh, what is this? Excuse me? I'm off the map. Hello, thank you. Ooh, crane. Okay. Oh, this is a nice location. The secret passage, yes. So that was where they were keeping her. I feel like it's about time she showed up again. Don't you think? Old picture. That must be her cell. Oh, no, I have been here, yeah. I don't have any keys, no. Uh, I guess I haven't checked the courtyard yet. Is there a door here? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Is that a mirror? Grape. What do I get? Yui has died. Eiji informed me she's... Oh, this is Kinu. Eiji informed me she threw herself onto the railroad tracks two evenings ago. I knew this would happen. There was no way Yui, who bore such a striking resemblance to my frail sister, could bear it. There was no way she could. On that day, Yui came to see me alone. She was all dressed up, not unlike my sister would be. My feelings of disdain came rushing back. She was a spitting image of Ayano, who I both loved and despised. Yui is a mere imitation of her. Yui had the same face and voice as my sister. Why do you hate me? She asked. Since she wanted to know that badly, I escorted her to the dungeon and showed her the truth. You are not my child, nor are you Saichi's. You were cut from the womb of that abomination. It is in the nature of a monster to crave blood. Out of pity, Saichi lied and said your bloodlust was from him. For many years, against his will, he had to choke down blood alongside you, a monster child. Finally seeing the truth, Yui turned speechless. She didn't scream, she didn't cry, she just stood there. I did not know what Yui did thereafter. I do not care about what happened to her. God, she's such an awful person. Trick box. How do I... Where do I put it? Oh wait, maybe... No. We know the order, but... Do we have like a place we put it? Do I need to take the trick box? Oh, I forgot this was here. Nice. Oh, maybe it's this. Old man, okay. Uh, rotate box, check box. Of oh, it started with old man boat. Okay. Uh, then what? Princess disease. Princess, right? Then disease. Okay. Then cocoon. Oh, it turned it too much. Uh, reset. This one, this one, this one. So disease, then silkworm. Golden key. Oh, my right foot's super asleep. Here, this one. Not locked anymore. Ah, cool. 
Thank you. There. Now what's in this one? Kina looked so sad and resentful. She said, I know you're like a butterfly. This left me speechless. All I could do was hold back my tears. It pains me to see Kinu suffer because of me. All I want is for Kinu to be happy. But I'm not a butterfly. I'm more like a silkworm. I was given a mulberry tree in a warm, in a warm silkworm room. I never needed to leave and always had someone to care for me. My body dissolves within the cocoon and I dream without ever being able to fly. I merely cling to life. But so long as Kinu's by my side, I am content. Considering Kinu's feelings, maybe it's better I leave this silkworm room. If I disappeared, Kinu could be with Saichi. Yet I can't bring myself to leave. My marriage to Saichi is approaching. And the more I realize how little time we have left, the more I cherish my time with Kinu. I know what happens to silkworms once they leave the silkworm room. That's what I'm afraid of. If it were up to me, I would remain by her side forever. Man, uh, it also explains why Saichi was so nice to Yui because it was the daughter he wanted basically. Cranky. Okay. The daughter he was hoping for with Ayano. Let's save another time. Just in case we don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> this game is so my vibes. I love this. Oh, another one. Kinu abandoned me. Kinu is crying. Kinu hates me and loves Saichi. I don't want Kinu to cry. I don't think she loves Saichi because she pulled a, pushed him down a well. I want death. She is too pure. I cry and she hugs me. She shoots threads and we form cocoon together. In the cocoon we dissolve and merge together as one. I am being lost. I stop being me. I forget many things. Her memories replace mine. She keeps eating me. I'm so thirsty. Give me red water. Who's the old man outside standing there? Ayano, he cries. Who is Ayano? Is it me? Old man enters cell. He strokes my head and cries. Kinu laughed and said, Bon appetit. Kinu gives me tasty water. She calls with a gentle voice. I'm happy. Kinu is precious. Save me. I'm scared. I forget Kinu. She ate almost all of me. Who am I? Where do I begin? Please don't eat more memories of Kinu. Before I forget Kinu, kill me. Damn. Um, I'm a little scared that if I look at that noose, I get a certain ending that I'm not hoping for. Ayano was constantly vomiting blood. She has since stopped moving. She drank the blood I had prepared for her, knowing I had poisoned it. I had no other choice. I was sick and dying. Soon I would be sleeping with the fishes. My frail arms were withered like a dead tree branch. Oh, so Kino tried to kill her because she knew she was dying. And she couldn't take care of her anymore. Once I'm gone, who will take care of my sister? Who will bathe her, trim her nails, and brush her hair every day? Who will society? How will society treat her? They will look at her with fear and morbid curiosity and call her a crazy monster. She will be treated as subhuman. I cannot subject my sister to this fate. My greatest fear was forgetting my sister. My sickness grows and my memories are fading. Each night I lay down with an unbearable headache. The anxiety crushes my soul, the nagging question of it. I will even remember her next morning. I killed everyone, my father, Saichi, Yui, and even my sister. I was left alone with a noose. I am dying in pain. Wait, she killed Kyube as well? I apologize. Do we, did we know that? We knew that he disappeared, but... I know how my sister really felt, but I treated her poorly out of envy, despite knowing how vile it was. I admired everything about her. That's why I despised her. 
My sister was the only one who truly understood me, despite knowing how cruel and merciless I could be. Yet still, Ayano cared for me more than anyone else. When the sun set, she would light up the house for me. She did so to prevent me from falling. My eyes and legs are old and weak. She would always gently massage my wrinkled, cold hands. Her mind is almost completely void of memories, yet she never forgot about me. That is enough. We found happiness in our own way. We knew all things come to an end. Forgive me, as this was the only way to save my sister. I do not know what happened to her on that day. I do not know who the she she writes about is. But I, like her, also wish to, to dissolve in a cocoon and become one with my sister. Kino, you're a fucking awful person. Mm. Hi, Grandma. What do I do? Oh, should I just run? The rope attached to the stake attached to the ceiling. Perhaps a strong enough force could break it. Um. How do I do it? I don't know. Oh! Ouch! Oh. Um. Do I, do I need her to hit it? Oh god. How do I get her to hit it? Did that do it? I think that did it! It's not ideal, but it worked. That didn't work. <laughs> okay, so she can break them, but how do I get her to break them without hurting me? Jump. Jump. Ouch, you didn't even hit it! Ouch! Ugh, oh, God! How? Perry? Yeah, I wish. I think that does it, but, like, that fucking kills me. Well, I have enough healing to just power through it, but there must be a better way. There must be a better way! No, you can't! <laughs> Jump. <sighs> ah. Okay, it worked, but at a cost. I don't even know what we're doing, really. What is this gonna do? Do it. Okay. What do we do now? Oh god. Tied to a plank? Oh, this one's still attached. Ouch. <laughs> She's just assaulting me. Okay. Do it. Do it. Jump. Ah! The running is so, like, touch and go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try again. Yeah, that did it! That did it. Thank god we had so much healing. Go, go, go! Aren't you gonna crush yourself too then? Ooh. <gasps> she pushed you out of the way. Didn't she? Well, that was clumsy, but I did it. Thanks, Grandma. But now what am I gonna do with my bloodlust? No! Is 
So how did she end up like this? Spending a month in the mountains. Oh, are you gonna mercy kill her? She might just heal, though. I don't think we could kill her, even if we wanted to. I mean, we're the same. We're the same kind of creature. I'll probably spare her. I don't know what. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I have no bad tongue. That also explains why Kinu didn't want to move away. And that's why Kinu had chickens in the fridge. She was feeding Ayano. Oh, the dam is cancelled. Tosan couldn't you explain to him what's going on? もうこんな時間か。早く食事の支度をしないと。Do <laughs> you think she's still stuck under the rock? Oh no. ごめん。遅くなって。Okay, now I feel bad not killing her. <笑>また高い位置に食べて。またないているの。キヌさんはもう死んでしまったんだよ。大丈夫。何の心配もいらないさ。これからは俺がばあちゃんとずっと一緒にいるんだから。<笑> That was so cool! That was really awesome. What a great one. Yeah, Kinu is an awful person. Holy shit! She was so envious of Ayano that she just destroyed her entire life and anyone that ever cared about her. What happens if we killed her? I don't know. I don't know if we can reload a checkpoint or something. I'm worried though. What if we kill her and then go our own way and then end up killing our father or something, like accidentally drinking his blood or something. Then I guess we're gonna kill her now. That's nice, we can kill her! <laughs> How considerate! <laughs> Do feel bad for her, yeah. Goodbye, Grandma! <laughs> Uh, look away! She did want to be killed, yeah. Because she was completely forgetting who she was. This town looks so nice. Did he bury her here? Kinu-san, I wanted to you're a heartless beast. Okay, good. Good morning. 
キヌさんを大事に oh,、right. 玄関先まで運んだんだろう。Oh. あやのさんは最後までキヌさんを呼んでいたよ。俺はあやのさんを殺してしまった。そう。Wait, so Kino did end up dying. Yeah. I think. あやのさんは消えていたんだ。Oh, I knew it! I knew you couldn't kill her! 彼女の亡骸をあのままにできなくて、埋葬しようと戻った時にはもう、綾<笑>乃さんの姿はどこにもなかった。そこにあったのは、穴の開いた巨大な眉と地面を這う真っ白な無数の蚕だけだった。Did she finally go to the next phase of her life? Oh. Don't I have to move the bodies then? Can't just flood a graveyard, right? And all these houses? The houses, maybe, but. Oh, there she is! Tatoe, Konokakini Shogai signed a Marekoto in that door. Ore no Nakani, don't that she got magic date. So let him over. He told us to eat it. I am no bacha. ダイヤのばあちゃん